Welcome to .com Monitor's tutorial on stress test setup. To run stress test, you need to have valid account with .com Monitor. If you already have monitoring account, there's nothing else that needs to be done. If you are looking for stress test and monitoring options, you need to open account with any of the packages. If you only are interested in web load testing, you need to create web load test type of account. Assuming an account is created and we are ready to log in. We will log into a demo account and set up a stress test. We are going to use the macro recorder to record our stress test script. We click macro recorder tab, click on download.com monitor macro recorder, then we will enter starting URL www.emailtophone.net and click OK. You can see our starting URL in the box. Now we will click Next. We will log into account and click through a few pages and click Log Out. Clicking on Next after each page. After our last page, we will upload script to .com Monitor account. You will need to put in your username and password again. Once script is uploaded, we can launch stress test. We will change our device name to email to phone stress test. No need to change frequency for we are not monitoring this device. We do not need to fill in the rest of this page. We will continue. Then we will continue again. Then return to device list. When we return to the device list, to the right of the device name is a stress tab. We will click on that. Now we will enter the number of users. This is the number of how many simultaneous users will hit the site at the same time. We will use 10. The number of circles is the number of times each virtual user will go through the transaction. We will set this to 10. The maximum processing time in minutes is how much maximum time you will allow for stress test. If not all runs complete within this time, stress test will terminate automatically. Then we need to pick our reporting options. We can put an email address in report email location or pick a group from the notifications groups list. Also, all the results will be available online, so even if you set an email address here, you can log in and review results later. Information after stress test completes comes as text, HTML, CSV, and charts. Now we are ready to start the test and hit submit and the screen will tell us how much we will be charged for this particular test. In this case, $5. Then we click Submit button. The test will go in a queue and will start at the time specified. We click on Stress Test tab, then go to Stress Test History. You can see that Stress Test currently in progress status, meaning it is running as we speak. Once test is completed, status changes to finished, and you can see results to the right. CSV file shows all raw test data. You can view summary to get idea on any errors and durations. And chart shows you device response time per location. This concludes .com Monitor's tutorial on stress test setup.